The immune system is evolved to protect us from invasion by foreign pathogens. And so the immune system is really exceptional at keeping us healthy in the sense that if we get infected, it clears the infection and we return back to good health. The problem with cancer is, is that cancer isn't a foreign organism. It's a normal cell in the body that is, has gone awry, that's essentially functioning independent of, its, of normal regulation of cell function. The problem there is that it's not very different from the normal cell. It's different, but not necessarily very different. And so it's a much more challenging problem for the immune system to be efficient at recognizing a cancer cell. What chemotherapy really is, is trying to take the immune system and make it effective in recognizing cancer. Now, as, as we've said, that's a bit of a challenge, but not a challenge that uh, seems unaddressable. The field of immuno-oncology is really exploding right now. Um, historically, there have been what we've always called the three pillars of cancer therapy, radiation therapy, surgery, and chemotherapy, all of which uh, are invasive or toxic in, in many ways. And I think what's clearly evolving now is that immunotherapy is becoming the fourth pillar of cancer therapy. So not only is immunotherapy useful by itself, but it's a also very effective addition to some of these other therapies that exist. My lab has been involved in trying to manipulate T cell responses to cancer, and the, this in large part reflects that we know that its T cells are, have been the most uh, effective way to eliminate uh, cancer cells. Uh, the question is, how do you get a strong enough immune response to achieve that? Around the 1990s, methods started evolving by which we could engineer cells by adding genes to them so that we could change the way a cell functions. And one of the first things was, is once you isolate one, one T cell that recognizes a tumor, you can remove, you can identify from that cell the gene that's encoding the receptor that rec recognizes the tumor. So once you clone out that gene, you can now express that gene for that receptor in somebody else's T cells, and by expressing it, their T cells now recognize, will recognize the tumor because it expresses this specific receptor. Well, that, that's a real game changer. It is hard to imagine that within the next decade, there won't be immunotherapies being pursued for virtually every type of cancer, and that increasingly, immunotherapies will become at least a part of, if not entirely, the standard of care for many, for many malignancies.